24-7 champion is always in danger, and now he'll be at even higher risk in this. Struggle to be the last one standing. Elimination rules with Stardust. Robert Rude, our truth in the hurricane. It's always an ever-changing setting in these kind of matches. As a champion, you want to keep the action in a place where you can be a factor. Never allow the competition to be further than striking distance. You wouldn't want the title to change hands on a fall because you were too far away. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. And now we have room. And here's a cover. A kick out. This one's not over yet. Trying to catch him off guard with that attempt. Already having to expel so much unnecessary energy this early on. Besides the threat of a pinfall anywhere in the arena, what are the other things a superstar has to be aware of, Corey? Well, there are no disqualifications in a false count anywhere match, so that means anything your opponent finds can't fly him. Whoa, look out, big time. Can he do it here? The challenger doesn't even allow a one count. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Seemed to be pretty easy.
intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Ooh. Stardust looking dangerous in there. Everything's in Stardust's favor now. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Turning the tables. DDT! And he's been concentrated in that area throughout this one. He knows every blow there weakens his opposition more each time. Championship, and that's something he should be really proud of.